everyone. So I just took a shower and I really quickly wanted to get on here to do my review on SK2. Usually I do my skincare, like the toner, essence, serum in the bathroom right after I get out the shower before my skin dries. So we're gonna do this really quick. This is my first time using SK2, the toner and the essence. Let me see which one I'm supposed to go first. So it is a facial treatment clear lotion that goes first and we're gonna put that on because my skin is drying up right now. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, but anyways, my skin is drying up right now. Let's try it. Oh, there's a little sticker thing on there. Shit, I didn't check. Ready? Make a small pool. Oh my god, precious. This is like diving water. Now, just so you know, I'm not a beauty guru or anything. Wanted to try SK2 for a long time. Never thought I could afford it. I still couldn't really afford it, but. Okay, there's not that big of a strong scent. You know, like some toners, when you put it on, you can kind of, it's not like going in or it's like really dry. My skin has been really dry and I've been searching to, you know, change my skincare routine. I've been using Innisfree. I think it's time to change it. So I bought this SK2. So the first step was the facial treatment clear lotion. The directions say to saturate a cotton pad and gently wipe over T-zone, followed by U-zone from center outwards. So I don't even know what U-zone meant, honestly, but someone said, my friend told me that this was the U-zone, but it says to do center outwards. But I really don't want to use a cotton pad because then I feel like I would be wasting a lot of product. All right, so the toner is drying up. Next is, you guys, it's glass. That's why I'm doing it. Can't get over it. So cool. Okay, this one has that sticker. I should have showed you guys. So it has this sticker right here. Now that shows that it hasn't been opened. So I'll make sure when you do buy it, if you do, that it hasn't been opened. This is drying. Okay, that probably wasn't enough. Okay, so make sure nothing is like falling. Mmm. Missed. It's still not a strong scent. So I took a picture of my skin. This way, this way. I've been looking into why might the products that I'm using are not soaking through. Like I feel like literally it's just a slab of product on my skin and it just sits there all day. And if I like a couple hours later go like this, it's still there just sliding around. So I've been trying to figure out what that was, you know, and I am a CEO of being late to everything. So I've discovered vitamin C. I've also implemented that into my skincare routine, but we're not here to talk about vitamin C. We're here to talk about these two. So this one's like a more clear and then the essence is kind of yellowy, you know? I think you can look up online what is the story behind SK2 or like Patera. It was like some kind of fermenting that was done in Japan and the people who are working, I think it'll say here, no? It should. Let me look it up for you guys. Yeah, you can have it all right here. So the reason why I'm doing this skincare really quick, I bought it three days ago and you can imagine how much I've been trying to wait for this moment because I wanted to share with everyone. The reviews that I've seen on YouTube were basically they've already used it and you don't really get the first impression of SK2 and it's expensive. Okay, one of these, I don't remember if it's the toner or the essence, is $235. $135. That's not even including like tax and stuff. SK2 was developed in the 1970s by Japanese scientists investigating the use of more naturally derived ingredients after it was observed that elderly workers at a sake brewery, brewery, brewery? I don't know. I don't know how to speak English. Brewery. <laughs> 
had smooth, clear, and young-looking hands from years of submerging them in the fermented yeast. So that's how they got their SK2 stuff. And I think SK2 is the only skincare brand that has the ingredient, their miracle ingredient called Patera, which is why on here also you can see that it says Patera. Those who want to know, I'm just gonna take that off. I don't know if you can find this set anywhere. To be honest, I bought it at an airport duty-free store. Like I said, one of these bottles was $235 and they were selling this dual set. Two of these boxes and this one. And it was going for $226 and there was also a discount. I've gotten a discount for 25% off. Let me do the rest of my skincare before I keep talking about it because I really want this to be really quick. So the essence. For 230 milliliters, wait, George, it's considered a value size, I guess, and Sephora is selling it for $235. If it wasn't on sale at the store, I don't know if I would be um, purchasing it, but anyways. Next one is the first step of it, which is the Facial Treatment Clear Lotion. Okay, for some reason, Sephora is only selling a 5.4 ounce for $76. This is a 7.7 .7 ounce. But basically, it was a deal. I remember years ago, I saw on YouTube that this was one of, you know, many Asian girls skincare routine. You know, and then I looked it up and I was like, <laughs> yeah, maybe when I grow older. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you'll be able to get the same deal as me. I'm sorry, but I mean, maybe if you travel, you could probably get it at the duty-free store where they sell a whole bunch of brand name stuff. This is my first impression. Let it be known that I am a combination skin. Throughout the day, I would get oily here and here. I wouldn't say a grease ball, but you'll see the shine. And if you literally go like this and then look at my palm, super oily and shiny. I kind of just like rub it on the back of my hand to like moisturize the back of my hand because I don't know. Like I said, the products that I've been using have been just sitting on my face. I feel like it's doing nothing to my skin. So that's why I was searching up on YouTube what I should use. And also I am aging. I have this sleep wrinkle right here. Maybe because this is how I sleep on the pillow. You see that wrinkle? Yeah, I should probably not do that. <laughs> And I have wrinkle lines here. And then this also bothers me. It's not as bad, but my mom and my auntie's smile lines are kind of bad. <coughs> now that is not a rooster. That is my dog who is very uh, protective. Russell. Russell. Hey. Hey. He is very vocal, as you can see. I feel like there's a grumpy old soul. Are you done? You done? I'm gonna finish the rest of my skincare and get ready to go out. Very vocal dog. Sometimes I feel like he's saying, no, 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 no. This is a no makeup face. As I was saying, if you won't interrupt me. I'm a combination skin. T-zone, really oily throughout the day and then super dry right here. So I kind of have trouble balancing all that out. And it looks like this out here. Right here, you just spot. I don't know if that's considered hyperpigmentation. I tried Googling it and there's just a bunch of other stuff coming out, whether it's red spots or dark spots, I don't know. And I do have some freckles here. And I think these are under eye bumps. You can't really see. You see the freckles? And then I have milia or something, or it's not milia. I'm not too sure. But just like everyone else, I am trying to discover and get to know my own skin. And especially because I am aging, I'm trying to avoid wrinkles. What else? What was I going to say? Oh my god. I'm so hungry. Okay, I'm going to hurry up because I literally just hopped out the shower, ran into my room, popped on the camera. So my skin right now is actually pretty good. I think when I was in my teens, my 20s even, I had really bad skin. In my teens, I used to put makeup on every single day. Wake up, makeup, and I'll put a full face. Full face on everything, maybe except for falsies. And this was when I was less than 20 years old in my teens. And that kind of screwed up my face probably. I could not step outside without putting makeup on. And I would also have a lot of 
pimples. It was so many pimples would be growing on my skin and I would still put makeup over it because I was just so insecure about it. It was to the point where it hurt. You can see kind of like small craters. You see these red bumps that I'm trying to get rid of. So that's what I think vitamin C also does. It brightens your skin. It's supposed to clear these blemishes. I don't have one right here. I have contour there, you know, and I think that's hyperpigmentation. I don't know if anyone can tell me what that is. I am on a journey. Yeah, I just want to let you know that this is pretty good skin to me. Bye!